pipes. All right, guys, we're back with you. You have to install a gas pedal. That's where all these people are going wrong. <laughs> if you said, well, Henry Ford, that was his main thing, just keep stopping. <laughs> Their main thing was get it going. <laughs> get as many miles out of the thing as possible. If the miles this thing is getting is when you're not around, well, that's Wolfie running away on Sophia. If you're there, Sophia, you have to give me more details of what happened, but if he just shoved past you, well, that's called a shoe bottom and took off. Well, that's what they do. If you said, how far away was it? Oh, it's far away fast. If you said, how, what do they do if they're running away like that? Well, they just get far away from you. And then if you said, then, well, then you're just, you don't even exist anymore. <laughs> you're not there anymore. You're not in the movie anymore. So if you're saying to yourself, if it starts to pull, I'm going to stop it. If it starts to go, I'm going to stop it. If it starts to run off, I'm going to stop it. You're going to fail. If you said, why? Because I know how to train dogs, and I know that doesn't work. It doesn't. If you think a dog far away from you, when you yell, if you've done nothing but try to stop it with a prong collar from doing things, that it's going to come running. It's not. It's not. So, okay, so they're eating the grass. He's only got one speed coming at the handler. And if you said, why, because it's a bulldog. If you want a slow bulldog, admonish him. Admonish him like that one video where they're holding up that flip-flop or whatever, and the dog's got its head bent down to the side. Guilty dog. Oh, that's what it is. Guilty dog. So if you do that with the bulldog, you're not going to get it moving. And if you said, what is going to get it moving? Oh, who knows? Rabbit, squirrel, anything. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> so, I've very carefully crafted that in this dog. So, my job is Hi, Michael. Yeah, you need to do this with your dog, Michael. I think this is a Neapolitan nest. I don't know my mastiffs like I used to. Or is it King Corso? King Corso. My friend, I told you before, my friend Eddie breeds them. It's called Blueprint King Corsos. Look it up. I gotta, I gotta check in on them. He, had, he was stationed in Italy in the army and got all these Italian champions. He showed him everything. A couple of them, let me tell you what, were mean. The one, I mean, he apparently was out walking it. You know, this is some Italian stud. It really didn't know Eddie. But took it out there, and then that thing started breaking bad on him. <laughs> Luckily, he had his army training and was able to get it back in the kennel. He said, what am I going to do? I said, you're going to have to have it put to sleep. He goes, what am I going to tell the people? Tell them a snake bit it. <laughs> That's what I told them. That's when he lived in Texas. All right, so look, I got Bendy Bendy Bulldog. So, look, let me do my chalk boxes again. You just have to practice as a handler. If you said, I can't turn around like that, you'll never make it in gymnastics. Because if you tell people to turn around on a beam, I'm going to show you what they do. This is how I would always try to tell. Turn like you're turning on a beam. And then I just have to keep saying, you fell off, you fell off, you fell off. <laughs> because if the footwork isn't right, if you said, well, I want to learn dancing, and then you're just some big clopper foot that just keeps stepping on the other person's feet, they're going to go, this isn't for you. <laughs> they are. They are. But I want you guys to make it more specific. Put your line in between and understand the dog's trajectory is going to be obviously as tight as you can get it, but that's where the dog, that's the ground the dog has to cover. So unless you have a mental picture of that, it's not going to work. So you're saying, and, and all, all it's doing is helping you guys understand at a certain point, the handler has to be stationed. 
the handler has to be stationary. Or, you know, if you said, well, I've got another way of doing the turns. There is a way that the Germans do it. They turn, and the dog goes on that side. I used to be able to do it. I'd have to practice. Um, but that was very, very, you could never get, if you said, I want to get handlers doing that. Hi. My friend from Romania. Service. Dressage. I love that. It is dressage. It is dressage. If you said dressage isn't measured step by step, I'd said the hell it isn't. It's measured step by intricate step. That's why it takes a long time. And if you said, well, these two-week trainers, that might explain why they have the absence of any development with the e-collar. Yeah, no, that, that completely explains it. So look, there's my... That's, it's that simple. I'm looking, I'm going right there. I've got all the hand signals, I got my fade ready. I'm going to do my pager. That's all it is. And you said speed it up. That's why you can speed it up. He's ending up in the right place. So he knows the exact steps. It's just a little drill to help you be more concise. So, hi, Corey. Uh, if you're even really there, I don't think you're really there. When I always address people and they, they never answer, sometimes I say, why do you never answer me? <laughs> and they say, I'm not there. I say, good day, sir. All right, but I'm saying to myself, what I don't want is a dog that I'm going to get up there and say, stay up there, stay up there. I want a dog I can drive the dog's momentum up there. And you guys have to think of it. I know it's very hard to interpret probably dressage, but I'm understanding now that the platform can act as the de facto handler. If we're getting speed going towards the platform, we're going to be able to get speed going towards the handler. And if you said why, because we got the behavior. You know, what you need to say to yourself, this thing's got the big V8 in it. It's got the big V8, and it's going to burn out. It, you're going to use your, if you're gunning this thing like I'm gunning it, it's going to run out of gas. So you want as much bang for your buck. If you said what would be the benefit of the big V8, I mean, obviously that thing is going to take a little time, but it's going to have a lot of power when it gets up to top speed. If I have no ability, if I'm driving a big V8 and then I get to a certain speed and the steering goes out, that's not good. That's what it is if you can't control the dog. He's very bouncy. And I can turn him the other way too, so I'm going to show you that. If we have two turns, and you have to think of it this way. Basic gun dog training involves a pivot left and a pivot right. All of it. Nobody says we don't do it. If you said, well, what about all these e-collar trainers? They don't even have any turns that I've seen. The one guy, they all just walk in a straight line. They speed it up. The rest of them, I, I'm, if you said, shut up, Kelly, I'll go find their technical turns. Please do it. So if we're going to do the turn towards, what we're saying then is if the handler is stationary, the dog is just going the other way. So I'm in the box. Let me get around here. So I'm turning this way. That's how I back the V on, too. I really need my footstool. If I put my footstool right there, I think you can see. All right, so the other thing is, again, if I'm doing a lot of putting this dog on the platform and saying don't go, that's going to really greatly affect my retrieving. And if you said why, well, it's going to always hesitate before it leaves. So this dog is a trained retrieve. So 
So it's a delivered a hand by virtue of the pager. The pager is just saying to pick it up. But I think right away, if you're not getting them, if you're just trying to stand there and say, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, you might get into a bind. I think as quick as possible, you want to add some motion to it. And if you said, what? Because they, they might. And if you said, what's a possible thing? Oh, they might get it and run the other way. You've got to make sure you've had all this momentum coming in your direction or the direction of the back I just gave him a wink and a nod. I gave him a wink and a nod. already looked at the other one. If you said, when am I going to do the pager? When he looks again, he's very lazy. He's going to go. It's just a slightly delayed response. He's looking right at it. Very, very important in a shaped retreat not to fill anything in all of a sudden because it's got to be their idea. You guys get the idea. I haven't done anything making him stop. I'm just making him go. Hi, Marcus. Um, Marcus understands that. If you think people go to a club and they just tell the dog, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Hardly. The dogs that stop, they say, you're going to have to get a different, better dog. And then they, then they say, well, where are we going to get one? You're going to have to pay tens of thousands of dollars and get one from Germany to make up for your weak handling skills. This is what they tell these people. <laughs> they tell. Yeah, this dog isn't going to make it. This Doberman isn't going to make it. <laughs> you're going to have to go get yourself. No. They want to do shuts on, but they make that like some American bred Doberman. That was awful. All I'm ever saying is move with me. I've got the very, very... You know, he doesn't see me as... That's a good drill to do, though. And if you said, when am I hitting the pager? I'm hitting it at the exact same place every time. I'm hitting it right... I'm hitting it in conjunction with the hand. We're going faster. I'm hitting it right here to there. And if you said, why does he do that? Anybody that's watched this dog from the beginning understands why he does that. And it is indifference on my part. If you said you're just out here petting these up, until people can evolve past the point of, I want to pet a dog, they're not going to be a good trainer. Anybody that's a serious pro knows this. People come here, oh, can I pet him now? All oh, right, kill me now, kill me now. Because people can't even keep them hand. They're, you know, if you, these guys, these young guys, boy, it's, I blocked that one guy. Uh, you know, if you honestly do think you're rubbing this dog's hair the wrong way, let me have a little talk with your girlfriend. You're not. He's, he's, he's gone. Oh, she's not gone. He's right by me. It's very technical, though. It's in a way, if you said, well, what you're doing is like putting him on a little track. It, it is. And I don't normally even do that. But if you said, well, define to me what your healing is, where does the dog think we're going? We're going to that turn. That's where we're going. I don't really even honestly know myself where we're going but if you're walking along with the dog and seemingly neither one of you knows where you're going it's gonna be the nature of these things to go ahead that's why it just pisses me off these people 
all blaming the dog. These wonderful owners have educated this dog about the word heel, and this son gun still ain't gonna do it. So they're gonna get in and get the prong on, and they're gonna show this son gun. Oh, you're gonna listen to these highly crafted commands this owner taught. Oh, please! So he thinks we're going to the And yeah, we are, we are. That's what it has to be. And you said you just get them out here. You don't have any breaks in between. Oh. I'll tell you where I learned how to train the dog tour book. They said young dogs have a short attention span. So you've got these breaks in between. <laughs> he sees right now I'm really not saying anything. Probably lay down. There has to be that. You can't just. You said why? Oh, it just gets too aggravating. <laughs> oh, and they just don't know how to sit still. So remember the initial precursor. It, it took me three months. I'm not even looking at him though. I'm just. That's ritualistic. If you said I don't have any ritualistic behavior with dogs, I would say that's not good. He's going to say to himself, if you've done it right, what can I do even better? What can I do even better than this that it might like? Not, I better watch out. It's going to correct me. Listen, monkey shine. Uh, if you said that was involuntary, I think it was. And if you said people don't suffer from that, they do. If you came here, if you came here, and we're sitting out there, and I just keep going like this, you're going to think to yourself, do I have something on my nose? You are. That's what people do. They do studies. I'll go find videos. But this dog's mindset is, what can I do right? This was the ritualistic, just arranging the blanket. It didn't have anything to do with him. Well, he wants to go do something other than that. He's thinking about it, though. <laughs> there's got, I think there's got to be yay, and then there's got to be, oh, yay. Let me see if I can get him to shift his hips. Why wouldn't you want that? I mean, why wouldn't you want that? You know, one that models your behavior. If you said, well, what's the caveat of that? Well, you got to have some control of your behavior, not just flailing your arms around all the time. You know, and if you said, well, I don't mind, I like it when they paw at my face and jump on me and kick me with their paws, and then they probably say the same thing. So I'm sure you'll be happy together. All right, guys, hang on. I'm going to run through the whole show. Hi, Julio. Hi, Julio. I wish you would have met me a few years ago. I wasn't this jaded. It's just confusing to me, and everybody's like, who cares? <laughs> I'll be right back.